Check it out, boys. Look what I got. These bad boys sold out in about 30 minutes on those retail sites, right? And I actually have a whole dramatic story to tell about this before I actually review this yo-yo. Um, back when I was a young teenager, entering my teenage years, uh, a game, Terraria, actually added yo-yos. And, you know, I knew about yo-yos beforehand. Everybody, everybody has a yo-yo when they're a kid, right? Terraria was the game for me at the time. I clocked in maybe around 100 hours over the summer and the summer of 2015, uh, which was the summer that they added yo-yos to the game, right? They added a lot of one-drop yo-yos. I actually have one right, right here. This is a rebirth. I don't think this is actually in the game. I'll, I'll check and I'll put a little thing that says if it is here, but... um. When they added yo-yos to the game, at the time it was my favorite game of all time. And when you beat the game, you get a certain yo-yo. It's called the Terrarian. And out of support for the company, I just wanted to find and order a Terrarian. I thought it would be like 30 bucks. I thought it would just be a little novelty thing, be done with it, it's cool, whatever, right? So, um, yeah, it didn't work out that way. Uh, I spent the whole summer of 2015 getting more and more into yo-yos. And uh, the summer of 2015, also the summer that Zach Gormley <laughs> won the World Yo-Yo Contest with this yo-yo right here. Uh, or at least the first generation version. This is the second generation version um, of which I am deeply in love with. And yeah, my little 12 year old me, my mind was just blown. Like I was just like, oh my god, dude, you can do that with a string? Like he was like, Hoo -hoo and then f -f 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 -f, right? And it was crazy. My little, my little 12 year old mind could not comprehend. So. Um, at the time, I really, really wanted a Borealis, but I couldn't get one, right? When I finally got my hands on a Borealis, I was floored. I Like, this was everything I ever wanted out of a yo-yo, right? Like, this was also, I think, my first COIW? Um, with a Kodiak that followed soon after. Or, first, uh, aluminum COIW. And you can imagine my reaction when the only thing I've used thus far was, you know... <laughs> shutter and I upgrade to this this I mean this is just this makes this trivial you know <laughs> um, but there was always something missing with this there was always something, like whenever I would play with it I just I'd get the combos going and I'd go and I you know I just wouldn't be able to keep up sometimes and I when I play I go really fast and I go really hard and I try to bring as much out of the yo-yos as I can so when this came out and when I got one, all I could think was, I just want to be able to push it harder and further and more. And so, you know, I may or may not have gotten a bimetal COIW called a Kodiak. I don't have it on my desk right now because uh, I sold it. Um, but uh, that's besides the point. Um, that Kodiak was kind of close, but it just had, it, it didn't have the same feel. So, yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't a bimetal Borealis. I needed the bimetal Borealis more than anything. And so I, I was kind of looking for substitutes, right? And uh, so I found a second contender, which is this guy. Snow Cone Akita. Now this is just a stunning yo-yo. I mean, look at me. It's a dog. Needless to say, the Akita didn't really cut it either. Akita, don't get me wrong, it's wonderful, it's incredible, and it's a, it's one of the most beautiful yo-yos in my collection, but it's not a bimetal Borealis. You can imagine my reaction when, in August of 2020, COYW was just like, Alright boys, let's hit them with the funny right here. And they released the Wish, but they only released it in limited edition. 10th anniversary on Rewind. I was livid, dude. Like, um, and then when they did the other run in uh, Christ for around Christmas, I was spending all my money on a big stinky set of headphones on a pair of Bear Dynamic DT1990. Show those on the screen. $600 headphones. So I missed the second run of these. Uh, it, w it was also a limited run, though. It was a limited edition run. So, when they announced that they were doing a third run, you already know, I posted a bunch of throws. I had a boy, I had a pickaxe, I had a bimetal shutter, I had just a bunch of things that I was just like, you know what, I'm selling it all if you can get me a wish. And this guy, uh, special thanks to him, uh, 
a name on screen was like, hey, I'll, I'll give you the money if you give me those yo-yos and you can get a wish. So, you know, thank you to that guy. Uh, now I have a wish. Uh, there's no reviews of it. So here I am. I'm, I'm going to show you how it plays. And for anybody wondering, like, oh, what experience do you have with yo-yos? Well, I've already showed like five yo-yos on the screen, right? But um, here's another. Here's here's another. Oh, oh, here, I showed this one. Oh, here's my rebirth. It's kind of my baby. Uh, oh, uh, let me reach. Oh. I have this too, and then I have about six other yo-yos just kind of sitting to my left here. So, I've been in the hobby for a while. I'm not good. I'm not insane. I'm not like. There are some people that can infinite, like, they can just do tricks way better than I can, right? But, I still have the wish. And I still have covered so many bases with yo-yoing that I believe it's worth it to kind of tell people what it's like to own one of these. And I mean... Oh! Oh, <laughs> I got into this a little bit earlier just to see. So, here it is. Here's the wish. It's like... Back in there, here it is. So let's compare here. Um, there's no inner rim right here, right? The coat's not, it's not as uh, soft. I was gonna say it's a little bit more narrow, but it's not. Uh, diameter is about the same. So in terms of profile, they're just about the same. And I'm guessing what they did is they just, these steel rims right here are basically the same as these inner rims that they have going on right here. So that's that's the basic build of the profile. Um, needless to say, I'm pretty excited to try this thing out. I haven't touched it yet, so uh, I'm gonna go play with this thing for a little bit, and I'm gonna let you all know how it plays. All right, we're back. Um, so just played with the wish for a little bit. I ran it through my longest combos, and uh, just in general, I pushed it as hard as I really could. It's uh, it's amazing. It's 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 literally, it's this, but it spins longer. There are a couple of other things though. Uh, it's a little thumpier. Hits certain things a little bit harder. Uh, and this just absolutely is. It, it's definitely a bimetal borealis. There, there's that. If you love the borealis and you love the way the borealis plays, get a wish. That, they, <laughs> um, one thing though, uh, because of where the rims are here, right. Um, you're not gonna be able to uh, do palm grinds uh, like you would with uh, the Borealis, at least as easily. Um, finger grinds though, uh, those went smoothly. Um, finger spins were a little bit rougher, not sure why. I'll try that again later though um, in my own time. I'm guessing it's gonna be perfectly fine. Thumb grinds, there should be absolutely no problem. This is a deep lip here. And thumb grinds were never a problem on the Borealis either. This is just a wonderful, wonderful yo-yo. Um, and granted, there's more to compare it to, right? Um, Borealis, not everybody has. So how about I bring in something that I can guarantee almost everybody has right here, the shutter. Um, this is what I call the base yo-yo. This is, to me, the most simple, like, you're getting into the hobby, what should I get that's balanced? This is it. The shutter is... Uh, a lot of people will criticize me for saying this, but um, I, d I call it the the vanilla yo-yo. I call it the basic yo-yo. Um, it's balanced. It moves f as fast as you need it to. It moves as agile as you need it to. When it comes to those things, it leads some things to be desired, you know? A jack of all trades is the master of none. I've been using a shutter for years. Just telling you the difference between this and this. This is a little bit more powerful. Uh, it's going to last you longer through your combos. And it's gonna go faster. You're gonna get momentum way quicker with this. And you know, $125, and I'm guessing these are gonna go just explode on buy, sell, trade. And then a little $50 yo-yo that you'll be able to get on almost any retailer. Yeti, or this. <laughs> so I also got this today. A special thanks to the guy that traded it with me. Traded a buy metal shutter for this. Actual differences here. This is slower. It's a little bit, it's not, you can't push this through your fastest and most tech, I'm not going to say technical, you can push this through technicals quite easily. It's got a little bit more of a catch range, I would say. If technicalities and suicides and stuff like that, things where you need a wide catch range and you don't need that uh, speed and you don't need that power. If you're one of those players, if you're just really casual, Paul Dang type player, this might be more it for you, uh, but if you're more 
into the speed, kind of like I am, uh, definitely, this is going to be for you. <laughs> this is just a wonderful yo-yo, and this is going to be in the last part of my collection. If you were on the fence, and, because you just didn't know how it would perform, because there just weren't, there aren't any reviews, there's just none, there's only freestyles, um, I don't blame you for not hold, for not getting one of these, but, um, get one of these, just do it. If you have the money, and you like how the Borealis plays, it's, it's not even, there's no question. This is just a wonderful yo-yo. If you want this yo-yo, you got $125, you like the Borealis, get this guy. Thanks for watching. See you later. Peace.